Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we've got some pretty interesting reveals slash leaks to talk about. Starting here first with the official in-game teaser for the next Dokkan Fest unit. That's coming to JP, which is, as you can see, a new DB Saga Kid Goku. Specifically, it's Kid Goku from the Path to Power movie. And in case you guys haven't seen this movie or haven't heard of it, let me give you a quick summary right here. So it says, Dragon Ball, the Path to Power, also known as Dragon Ball, the Way to the Strongest, is the 17th Japanese animated feature film based on the Dragon Ball manga, following the first three Dragon Ball films, and at the time, 13 Dragon Ball Z films. It is a retelling of the original Dragon Ball anime series, such as Goku first meeting Bulma, Master Roshi, Oolong, and Yamcha. It was produced by Toei Animation to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Dragon Ball franchise. It was originally released to theaters in Japan on March 2nd, 1996, and apparently this was the last theatrical release of a Dragon Ball film until uh, Battle of Gods in 2013, so about almost 20 years between theatrical releases, which is kind of crazy to think about because these days we expect new Dragon Ball films to come out in theaters, right? Anyways. Uh, it was dubbed into English by Funimation Entertainment and released on April 29th, 2003. So there you go. That is the Path to Power movie. Um, if you guys are playing JP and you guys want to, you know, get hyped for this new release, for this new character, then maybe watch the movie before he comes out, uh, most likely in a couple days from now. So... Uh, yeah, that is the next JP Dokkan Fist unit. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about him. Obviously, we don't have any details. But for me personally, I'm pretty excited because it's been a long time since we've had not just a new Kid Goku from, like, Dragon Ball, but it's our first summonable DB Saga unit in, in what feels like forever. You know, like, the last one was... I don't even know what the last one was, to be honest, man. It's, it's been too long. It's been too long, right? So, it's about time we got a new DB Saga unit and a new Kid Goku. And on top of that, this also means that we're opening up the gates for some DB Saga Extreme Z Awakenings. Specifically, some of the ones that I'm excited about would be, of course, the original um, Dokkan Fest Kid Goku, right? I mean, this kid came out in 2019. It's been over three years at this point and uh he's always had one of my favorite active skill animations and uh, i would love for him to actually be you know relevant once again right so that is definitely my most anticipated extreme z awakening but on top of that we could be getting EZAs for the lr uh, goku and arale that'd be awesome and also possibly other db saga units like launch for example who is actually really really solid and uh she's probably gonna be pretty insane with an easy a so those are my top three anticipated uh db saga easy a's let me know in the comments if there are others that you guys are looking forward to like maybe a master roshi or um something else like a team king piccolo or something right so yeah that is the news for the next dokkan fest unit the kid goku and from there, we also got some info, uh, courtesy of Revival of Patara on Twitter, big shout out to him, um, relating to the next Dragon Ball Heroes collab, which is happening in November, uh, like it has every single year, right? So basically what he's saying is that uh, in October, October 23rd specifically, there's going to be a 12th anniversary stream for the uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes anniversary. And they're going to be revealing Dokkan Awakenings for the Super Saiyan 4 Bardock and Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, which are, as you guys might remember, the two Super Saiyan 4 units that didn't get Dokkan Awakenings when they first released uh, two years ago, right? So these guys will be getting Dokkan Awakenings. And on top of that, we're going to be getting a Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Vegito. So apparently those are the planned reveals, the planned um, releases 
that are coming up for this year's collab, of course. There will be other new units as well, not just Awakenings, but as far as Awakenings go, these two are getting their token Awakenings, and uh, I guess Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Vegito is going to be the main like new unit, and as far as that guy goes, he's probably going to look something like this. I think this was a fan-made one. I mean, I know for a fact this was a fan-made one, but... It's probably not too far off, you know, so it's gonna be something like this. He's gonna be awesome. Of course, we already have a Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, but I mean This is Even better, right? So we have Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. I'm hoping that we just Get more Super Saiyan 4s, you know, like I wouldn't mind another Super Saiyan 4 themed uh, Heroes collab. Obviously, there are other candidates as well, like um you know, I think I saw like a Goku Black with like the mask. That's pretty awesome. And uh, honestly, I'm not too familiar with heroes, but if they wanted to like throw in some other fusions, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, some fun ones like uh, I think Goku is Goku and Hercule fused, right? Stuff like that would be pretty sick. Um, a Super Saiyan 3 Raditz or a Super Saiyan 3 Nappa would be dope. So. Yeah, there's a lot of options. Wait, hold on. Is there a Super Saiyan 3 Nappa, or am I just making that up? I feel like I might be making that up. Because in my mind, there's a Nappa with like crazy gold hair, right? But I know Super Saiyan 3 Raditz is a thing, and his hair is insane. Like, his hair goes like past his feet, you know? Like, it's hilarious. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for the Heroes collab, as always. I'm looking forward to the new units. As far as we know right now, it looks like Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is one of them, and uh, the Awakenings for these guys should be pretty good as well. I mean, even without Dokken Awakenings right now, um, they're actually decent, so with Dokken Awakenings, they should be very, very good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, of course, I'm also expecting Extreme Z Awakenings, Extreme Z Awakenings for Super Saiyan 4 Broly, and uh, the Fizz original Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, of course, right? So, um, lots of big things to look forward to this year, man, for the Heroes collab, once again happening in November, like every year, and uh, next Dokkan FS unit on JP, uh, the Kid Goku, and uh, also, of course, for Global, we're getting Pan, most likely, as our next Dokkan FS unit, which might not be the most hype, but she is very good, and, uh, you know, if you don't want her, then it's an easy skip, which is also not a bad thing, considering most people should be pretty dry on stones and maybe money coming off the anniversary and then the uh, worldwide celebration, right? So it might be good to take a break from buying stones and summoning for a couple of weeks before the next banner comes out. So, um, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.